ignorant people would call me a radical feminist, and I think that's wonderful, because radical means from the heart of things, from the centre of things. You know, so I, when a lot of people try to think that that's an offensive comment, I embrace it, it's just great. People try to trip you up and say, are you a feminist? And I say, of course I am. Of course I believe in gender equality. And there's still that stigma and there's still that thing where they think feminism is man-hating. And immediately, women who have voices, women who um, are proud to break down the barriers and become engineers and to become boxers and stuff, are considered not women anymore. And it's really, it's really disheartening. In the notion of wahine toa, um, you have an idea of a female warrior. We have always been warriors. Lots of young women think somehow we're not in an iteration, that the revolution is over. Sadly mistaken, they will discover, you know, when they first try to ask for a wage increase, uh, when they're passed by for partnerships, the first time a male fist is raised to them, when they're walking home in the dark and there are young men and they feel threatened. Women are 50% of the population. We should have 50% of the MPs. In fact, we've only got 30% and it's been like that for the last 20 years. I'm sure Kate Shebert would be horrified to see where we've come here in the 21st century. Another thing that hasn't changed is the invisibility of all unpaid and voluntary work and all household work. Overwhelmingly, this affects women. If political leaders are going to exclude women or ignore them, they do so at their own peril and they will fail. Women are a powerful voting block. In my family, women are definitely equal. In other families, definitely not. As a country, I don't think so. Women need to have the power. Women don't want war, they want peace. Women don't want more children, they want more for the children that they actually have. And you put women in charge, and I tell you, we'll have world peace and we'll have happy families and communities.